If you like to see love in a science fiction, you should definitely watch our picks for the best romance sci-fi movies. We're on a date. Very nice. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Equals 2015. We cure cancer, we cure the common cold, we can cure SOS. Equals is an American science fiction romantic drama film. It is directed by Drake Doremus and stars Kristen Stewart, Nicholas Holt, and Belle Pauly in a futuristic world where emotions have been abolished. Naya and Silas work together in a futuristic society known as The Collective that commits crime and violence by genetically eradicating all human sentiments. Despite this, Naya and Silas start attracting each other, leading to a forbidden love that eventually puts both in danger. Tested positive for SOS. I'm stage one. I'm taking inhibitors. There's no evidence that the bug is contagious. However, if it makes you feel more comfortable, I'll wear a face mask from now on. Number 9. Upstream Color, 2013. Is there any food? All the food's poisoned. Your throat is parched. Make a pitcher of ice water. Bring a small glass. Upstream Color is an innovative science fiction flick. It was directed by Shane Carruth and stars Frank Mosley, Shane Carruth, and Amy Simons. While out at a club, a woman is targeted by a thief who hypnotized her using food laced with narcotics. After the worms are extracted, it starts to dawn on her how much he exploited her and ravaged her life. She ends up empty-handed, with no job and no money. Several years later, she connects with a stranger on a train. Several events start unearthing many shared incidents and experiences. The stream flowing out in that direction through a wooded valley. The stream there was none. I am glad to have drunk water so long. For the same reason that I prefer the natural sky. Number eight, Upside Down. 2012. It's frustrating. You know, I, I know that whatever's missing, it's in there. Upside Down is a Canadian-French romantic fantasy movie. It is directed by Juan Diego Solanas and stars Jim Sturgis and Kristen Dunst. The plot reveals astronomical odds faced by Adam and Eve from the moment they fall in love with each other. This is a love story that begins in the fantasy world. Many factors threaten to keep them apart, including social class, a political system, and a planetary condition. But despite all adversities, he departs on a fatal quest to pervade the company and the upper world to reconnect with her. Are you serious? Don't make that face. I made it here, right? Well, look, as long as you're okay. Number seven. OXV, The Manual, 2013. You don't believe that Zack solved anything because he's low frequency. It's just a precaution. Relax, nothing will happen. OXV, The Manual is a British science fiction romantic drama. It was directed by Darren Paul Fisher and stars Daniel Frazier and Eleanor Wilde. In a parallel world where everyone possesses a certain frequency, if yours is high, you are lucky, but if not, you are amongst the most. A mystery unfolds when low-frequency Zack is forced to forgo science to love the luckiest girl. A forbidden love begins between them with twists and turns. Words. Words? The right words. Or magic words. We think so, me and Theo. You remember Theodore Adorno? He's been helping me. We discovered a link between synaptic function and resonance. The way you think affects your frequency. Number 6. Passengers 2016. I was so alone for so long. It felt like I was disappearing. Passengers is a 2016 drama sci-fi romance flick. It was directed by Morton Tildum and stars Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence in lead roles. A starship traveling to a distant colony planet and transporting thousands of people has a malfunction in its sleep chambers. As a result, Jim Preston wakes up before 90 years from his destination. Try as he might, he cannot go back into hibernation. Out of loneliness, he thinks of dehibernating one of the female passengers. I don't care! I don't care what you want! I don't care why you woke me up! You took my life! Number 5. The Adjustment Bureau, 2011. Oh my god. Have we met? You look vaguely familiar, yeah. yeah. Waldorf men's room. You got it. Were you just staring at my legs while I slept? 
The Adjustment Bureau is a 2011 science fiction romantic drama directed by George Nolfi and starring Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, and Lisa Thornson. In New York, the noted politician David Norris is disputing a recent Senate election. Unfortunately, he is a captive of his playboy. He then meets and falls in love with ballet dancer Elise and falls in love with her. However, a mysterious group of men contrives to keep them apart. Who was that? I don't know. Who cares? It'll be on the eye. Can you just... No. Okay, now we're in the third grade. This is great. <laughs> oh, thank God. It's a sturdy little fucker, isn't it? I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it just happened. Number four. I Origins 2014. Clear, clean facts. Data points of every stage of I evolution. Why are you working so hard to disprove God? I Origins is a 2014 science fiction romantic drama. Directed by Mike Cahill, it stars Michael Pitt, Stephen Yoon, and Astrid Burgess Frisbee. The story follows a graduate molecular biologist, Dr. Ian Gray, who is ambitious and eager to study the development of the human eye with the help of Karen and Kenny. Traveling around the world, he risks everything he has ever known to prove that eyes have developed through evolution instead of appeared as creationists claim. What kind of scientist? Molecular biology, I'm most fascinated with the eye. The eye, the, the eyes? The eyes. Why the eye? The eye is the one sticking point that religious people use to discredit evolution. Number three, Mr. Nobody, 2009. Our patient's memory is confused. But it is not unusual at a certain stage of illness for very old memories to re-emerge in great detail. Mr. Nobody is a 2009 science fiction romance film directed by Jaco Van Dormael and starring Jared Leto, Diane Kruger, and Sarah Pauly. In 2092, the last mortal human on Earth, Nemo Nobody, is 118 years old. While interviewed, he recounts stories at three main points in his life, at age nine, when his parents separated, at age 15, when he became infatuated with a girl, and at age 34, as an adult. All three contain many possible consequences that seem to run parallel to each other. He determines to pursue the path least traveled. I'm afraid of losing you again. I, I'm afraid of having to do without you again. I, I'm terrified of that. Number two. Her 2013. That was a story I was telling myself that I was somehow inferior. Isn't that interesting? Her is a 2013 thriller, science fiction, and romance film. It is directed by Spike Jones and stars Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson in lead roles. The story revolves around an introvert writer who has ended his marriage, embraces artificial intelligence, and eventually falls in love with a disembodied voice. Samantha is not an ordinary operating system. She does secretarial work for him, but soothes him whenever he's down. Their unusual relationship and inability to provide physical comfort put them in a complicated situation. I mean, I'm not limited. I can be anywhere and everywhere simultaneously. I'm not tethered to time and space in a way that I would be if I was stuck in a body that's inevitably going to die. Number one. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, 2004. My name is Clementine, by the way. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. No jokes about my name. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is a 2004 science fiction romantic comedy drama film directed by Michael Gondry and starring Kate Winslet, Jim Carrey, and Tom Wilkinson. After a particularly difficult breakup, Clementine decides to eradicate all memories associated with his boyfriend. When Joe learns about it, he determines to undergo the same procedure. However, as he watches his memories of her fade away, he realizes that he still loves her, but it may be too late to correct his mistake. I saw you sitting over here by yourself, and I thought, thank God, someone normal who doesn't know how to interact with these things either. Yeah, I don't ever know what to say. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.